this is my big green egg. Uh, I have the large uh, size and I just finished replacing the gasket on the inside. And I just want to do a video because I had the hardest time with this. I took the top off the green egg to replace the gasket and I'm not too sure I will do that again. Just because once you take it off and loosen some bolts in the back, it's hard to get the alignment like it was the, uh, before you started messing with all those bolts and screws and springs back there. But <clears throat> um, word to the wise, do not replace your gasket if it is below 50 degrees Fahrenheit outside because the adhesive is not going to stick. And just it's as soon as you lay it down, it's going to come right back up or want to come back up. Um, but um, I had this problem in the back right there. So uh, that's the reason why it looks kind of raggedy back here. But um, hopefully after a few cooks, it'll and uh, just some pressure on the lid. Hopefully it'll press it down. And But that's the only problem I had uh, trouble with is um, even with cold weather applying this um, gasket, um, the sides were fine. I just had the trouble back here in the back and then I ended up using uh, this 3M uh, high strength uh, contact adhesive that you can get from like Lowe's or any uh, hardware place. But sprayed a little bit of that on the green egg and then applied the uh, gasket and it, it let it set for a few hours and it worked out just fine. But um, I had this underbite that I could not fix. Um, so once I closed the lid after I applied the gasket and put all the bolts back on and tighten them up. I had this underbite, so the bottom was sticking out further than the top, um, and that uh, concerned me because just the life of the gasket, I wasn't sure if that was gonna affect it, if there was gonna be any kind of leakage or anything like that, um, messing with the temperature. So um, just did my own research, but all the videos that I saw, there wasn't a clear description. So what I'm gonna try to do is give a good description of what I did and how I fixed this problem. So first things first, you open up the green egg dome and take off these springs which I was able to do with my hands they're not real tight or anything but obviously but take them off with your hands once the springs are off shut the dome and there's screws bolts actually back here in the back four on each side so what I did was I loosened these four I loosened these four and then I loosened the brackets here um, and then once I did that, I was able to reposition the dome to where it was flush all the way around with the bottom. So um, once you get it flush all the way around, what I did is I tightened the top left bolts first, and then I went to the bottom right bolts, then the top right bolts, and then the bottom left bolts. Tighten those pretty, pretty tight. And I've tightened these uh, bolts and screws here to where the bracket's going to hug against the dome and then the um, base of it and so um, and also I didn't have the spacers so I just kind of eyeballed the spacing between here the, um, the opening and then the top bracket just kind of eyeballed it all the way around made sure um, to my eyeballs that it was even so um, and then once you're finished tightening up the bolts um, and realigning everything um, put the springs back on actually open the lid, put the strings, strings back on, and then that fixed the problem for me. I didn't have any more problems with the uh, underbite. So, uh, as you can tell, no more underbite. At least it's not as bad as it was. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't look as bad here. And that was probably about like it was on the original part of my dough. So, I hope that this video is of some help. Um, again, I had uh, trouble finding videos um, and descriptions to where it helped me with the uh, underbite. So I'm assuming if you have an overbite with your dome, um, this is a fix the problem also, and it's easy. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit like, comment, and then subscribe.